look who's back. How'd your interview go? All right, sorry, sorry. You know what? I'll let you actually get through the door this time before I start peppering you with questions. Well, it's not every day my girlfriend gets a second round of interviews for her dream job. It's exciting, you know? Look, even if it didn't go great, it's great that you got the interview to begin with. That they're interested. And, and you know what? I'm sure other companies will be too. Oh, come here. Sit down. Now, catch me up on how it went. Okay, so that was it. Ooh, great. It is always good to click with the interviewer. How do you feel about the questions? <laughs> Sounds like you knocked it out of the park. Well, of course you would, smarty pants. She even said that she would love to work with you. <laughs> That's great. And they'll be in touch at the end. That's a solid lead. Babe, you've got this in the bag. Okay. So, if it went so well, then they're going to clearly offer you the job, right? Then why do you seem so down? Oh, come on. We've been dating for years. You really think I can't recognize when you're sad? How your shoulders will hunch forward, or how you look like you expect someone to take a swing at you at any moment? You've got these soft worry lines across your forehead that you only get when you're really thinking about something. And you won't even look me in the eyes. I know I've told you this before, but it worries me, especially when you get like this. You'll come home after a long day and you just, you look tired and frustrated, God knows burned out. Then you spend 10 minutes just staring at the floor, too tired to even complain about things. It hurts. It hurts knowing that you hurt so bad. And to know that you're trying to keep it all inside. Even when I've told you so many times, I would love to be there to support you. If you just let me in. But, you know... That's why you started looking for a new job, right? You told me about how you were excited and that you're going to get out of your old grind, start working somewhere that you feel like you actually make a difference. And it's been so good to see you start caring about things again. So I guess back to my earlier question. Why do you seem so down, especially if things are looking like you're finally getting a chance to do the work you love? You what? You're not going to take the job. Yep. Okay. Um, you've been after this for months. You've set timelines and ultimatums and goals. And now you're just going to drop it? <laughs> no. Don't just say I've changed my mind and blow me off like that. What's actually going on in your head? Can you please, please just let me in? Explain what you're thinking here. Oh. 
So you talked with your dad on the phone, did you? Well, what did he say? He must have been excited for you, right? He said what? That stupid son of a... Okay, there is no way on God's green earth that he would be disappointed that you're changing jobs. He's never cared. Why does he care now? Well, your dad's a moron. Simple as that. Especially if he thinks he knows what's best for you. It's not beneath you to move into a career that you actually care about. I don't care if he means well. You mean well. You mean well for yourself. And you know what... You know what's better for you than they do. You know what will make you happy. I just, I can't believe that he, <sighs> crap, I'm sorry, I didn't mean to be, it's, it's just, it hurts, okay, to see you come home every day, just silently stare at the TV for a few hours and go to sleep. That hurts. I talk to you every morning while you're sitting at the kitchen table, just desperately trying to find the will to walk out the door for another day of work. And it hurts. This job is going to be the death of you. And it's killing me too. It hurts to see you in constant pain. And it hurts to know that there is nothing I can do to help. I don't make enough money so that I can support you and, and so you never have to work a day again. And even if I did, you'd be unfilled. You, you have a passion. This job is in the field you love. That's why I was so happy when you started to look for another job. I've seen what this work does to you. And I was so glad that you could finally get back to doing what actually matters to you. And selfishly, I was happy at the thought that my girlfriend, my my best friend would be back. The caring and sweet and passionate person who takes every chance they have to tell anyone who will listen about their hobbies and their passions. All the things you couldn't wait to do. You're a beautiful person. You know? When we first met, I remember being so inspired just by spending my time around you. I remembered what it means to be passionate and supportive and caring towards the people around me. And just because you showed me how much light and joy could bring to a person. No one no job has the right to take away that light from you. You've got a heart of gold. And I know you can do great things. If you just put yourself out there and try. I know change is scary. It always is. And it sucks that your parents aren't supporting you the way they should. But this is your life. If you want a change, you have the right to make it. And no one has the right to take that away from you. And that includes me. You know, 
I can say what I want, but in the end, I'm no better than your parents if I just sat here and told you what to do. I trust you. And I am going to support you no matter what. You know that, right? I'm glad you know. In the meantime, I'm sure you need some space to uh, think. So, here. A kiss on the cheek to help you think. And to remind you that the people who really love you would never stop caring about you over something as so silly as a job. So just remember that. Okay? <laughs>